What's up, y'all? I'm Free Rev, and today I'm going to show you how I enhance my stage performances with a good old fashioned laser. Now, you can spend a lot of money on a high tech visual effects unit, or you can roll your own with this do it yourself version here. This one uses off the shelf parts and generally will come out cheaper than one you can buy in the store, Guitar Center, or one of the lighting effects houses. Plus, you have the added satisfaction of knowing that you built this yourself. I'm going to go over some of the basic components, but I'm not going to get too much detail. You can email me or follow me on Twitter or uh, make comments in the YouTube section below and I'll see if I can get to you. Let's take a look at it now. Here we are with a closer look at the laser effects unit. Now I've got to say up front that I did not build this unit. This unit was built by a friend of mine who helped me with some of my projects. It was inspired by another unit I did build, which was more of a laser vortex using only a single mirror. If you just use one laser and one mirror, and you mount the mirror at an angle, you'll get this cone effect. And if you place that behind you, you will totally get that time tunnel effect. But you have to set that mirror at, uh, at a very extreme angle so the beam is very wide and then of course you have to use lots of smoke to make it happen. Now, as you can see it has uh, several components. This component over here is the mirror reflector unit. It is comprised of four power supply fan motors with the fan actually cut off and it has some front surface mirrors mounted. Now you can get fancy and use the front surface mirrors or you can use regular hobby mirrors that you can get at Michael's or any other craft supply store. This is the actual laser unit itself. This is a laser head unit, 30 milliwatts, that can be purchased off eBay from Chinese suppliers. Now I gotta say also up front here that a 30 milliwatt laser will burn your eyes out. So never look directly into the beam and never point this at your audience. Always point this at a screen or on the ceiling, but never point it at anybody's eyes. Otherwise there'll be a massive lawsuit. People will get hurt and this will be very bad. This unit over here is a power regulator supply unit. It takes power that comes from a standard 12 volt wall wart uh, and splits it between the laser unit and the motor control unit. Now the motor control unit would be recognizable to many of you uh, hobbyists, computer hobbyists, uh, as a fan control unit for a computer cooling supply. So if you uh, run a lot of uh, PC mods and stuff like that and have a lot of fans, you can get this uh, and it installs a 1U uh, unit inside the PC. It's not that expensive. You can get it from Tiger Direct or your favorite computer supplier. Now, how this unit works is, uh, of course, you have a separate switch over here. This turns the laser on and off. And then uh, once the laser's on, you then uh, flip the switches, which causes the laser, or causes the mirror to rotate. A single rotating mirror will give you a circle, which is pretty nice. But it's also kind of boring unless it's really big. Like I said, you need a, a really large circle to get that laser vortex effect. So, you start flipping the other switches and then you get a much more pronounced effect. See a little smoke machine will help make this uh, much more pronounced and also help you witness that laser tunnel effect. Here I have some novelty glasses that I purchased or actually that I got for free from the planetarium. These novelty glasses actually multiply the image. So you wear them at the laser show to help uh, make the image look pretty trippy. If you put this over the camera lens like this, you'll see how it multiplies the image. 
if you had a bunch of these or a nice budget you could pass these out to your audience members and they can run around with them or if you just have one you put that in front of the beam like so and now you've effectively multiplied your image And you can do all kinds of neat stuff with that. So you've got this. So this is a pretty simple unit. It costs roughly under $100 to make. Professional laser effects units will cost you a lot more. Of course, if you're handy, you can uh, probably change this up. Uh, if you want, you can make it uh, sound activated uh, or add some other fancy controller circuits. Uh, you can really do a lot. It's a pretty neat unit. And once again, you have the satisfaction of uh, having a home built effects unit that uh, generates some pretty neat images that will go along with your stage show. I know my audience members like it. Uh, lasers are old school and they're a pretty neat effect. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, no, it's not an instructable. I'm not actually, like I said, as you can see, I'm not going to show you how I put it all together. It's just a basic overview of something that you can do. But I hope you enjoyed this and it inspires you to create uh, devices uh, of your own. Thank you very much.